first, just, first off, I just wanted to thank you for letting us come and interview on a Sunday when y'all closed. Sure, no problem. Um, because <clears throat> I know y'all are busy and everything else. Um, what I wanted to ask you, um, what led y'all to want to open this Wilshire bar? There's been one here for a while. They closed, um, uh, about, probably about eight years ago. Yeah. The one down the street closed, and uh, they never decided to reopen. We had all this space here in the building, so we just decided to put the Oyster Bar in. Oh, definitely, because I feel, I feel like it's a good use of the space and everything else. And it's so historic. Um, what else has been here besides the Oyster Bar? Uh, it was originally a Ford dealership. Uh, it was a law office. It was an art studio. Um, Hair salon for a little while, a barber shop. Mm -hmm. The building was built in 1902, so it's been here. Wow, that is a lot. I'm, I'm just glad that it's been kept up so good. I mean, it looks great on the inside, and there's so there's so many different little different little stuff, and that's good. So, um, <clears throat> do y'all get y'all with just luckily? We do. Um. <clears throat> Who do y'all um, buy from? Uh, we buy from a supplier out of Washington. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So how do you think this oyster bar is impacting the community being here? Um, well, it's a, it's a place to hang out. You know, we have a bunch of TVs. People come watch basketball games during tournament weekend. Um, we definitely pay a whole lot of sales tax. Um, we pay alcohol tax, you know, so that money goes into the community. <clears throat> uh, the sales tax, you know, goes back to the state. So it, it makes an economic impact as well as a social impact. Um, who, how many, how many shuckers do y'all have that come in? Uh, we have two. two. Mm -hmm. uh, how many bushels get shut? Uh, a day, a week, yeah, a month. Yeah, um, uh, it just depends. Some we go two on a slow day, maybe to six on a busy day. That's a lot. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, how many ways do y'all cook the oyster churn? Oh, we just steam them up here. Uh, what are the most popular seasons for oyster churn? Uh, the months that it have an R in them. Anything from September through April. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually get them all year long, but yeah. we find that people just won't eat them if it's not a month that doesn't have R in it. I heard, yeah, I've heard that they're gross. <laughs> I do have a question. I don't understand the reason why it's like with the R in it, uh -huh. what does that have to do with well, The months that don't have R's are the hot months. Okay. And before they had refrigerated trucks, they used to have to haul them around in the back of a pickup truck. So everybody ate oysters in the cold months because you can't haul oysters around in the back of a pickup truck in June. Oh. So. Makes a little more sense. They spoil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They spoil quicker. Yeah. Is it a family business? or? It is. Yep. Uh, my mother and I actually run the business. Oh, that's, oh, that's yeah. so She's uh she and her sister started the business about 13 years ago and, uh, with the restaurant downstairs. And now she's the, the only one still here and I came in uh, about four years ago, I guess. Um, are y'all based out of Plymouth or? Mm -hmm. We are. Do y'all like living in Plymouth or? Uh, other than the time that I spent at Carolina, I've been here my whole life. What, what did you what did you gra gra graduate with? I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have an English degree. I and run a restaurant. An English degree and a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all steam the oysters up here, but do y'all serve them any other way in the actual restaurant? Mm -hmm. or? Um, you can get them fried downstairs. Yeah. What are what are some of the stuff that y'all serve that have oysters in them? Um, well, you know, around the holidays we do oyster dressing, everybody kind of does that. Um, every now and then we do oyster specials, things like oysters Rockefeller, things like that. And we get some really nice select oysters in. Um, but for the most part, we fry them and we steam them. Do y'all, like, when football or basketball, do y'all get, is that the more of y'all's busier times or? It is. Um, it, it, game nights get busy. Um, people just like to come. You know, have a place to hang out and eat and watch games. I mm -hmm. bet Super Bowl Sunday's huge. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're always big days. Yeah. So when y'all steam them up here and y'all have them more fried and cooked differently downstairs, does uh, 
Does this bring in more business for the oysters up here, or is it just kind of a... Um, we're, we're open a couple of nights the same nights, um, so you can get basically from either either kitchen. You know, if somebody wants to order from the other kitchen, they can. We just it's just run up here to them, <clears throat> or they can get it up. You know, whatever's cooked up here. Do y'all just have one seller in Washington, or do y'all buy from like multiple local fishermen? Um, we've got about three different wholesalers that we buy from. Um, the majority of them come from out of Washington or uh, Rocky Hawk, actually. So it is all local? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah unfortunately, the legislature and all their infinite wisdom did away with the recycling program, <clears throat> which has made such a big difference. When we first opened up here, all of our oysters were from out of state. They almost all came from Louisiana, mm -hmm. and now they're all almost exclusively North Carolina. So. <laughs> but now the recycle program has been done away with, so there's no telling what's going to happen to that industry anymore. And you said you recommend from um, two to six bush, uh, bushels depending on the night. Yeah, it just depends on the night. How much, like, what do you guys have to pay for how, how many bushels you buy? How does that it work? It just depends. Um, the price is going back up now. Just um, It's getting towards the end of the season. They're getting a little bit more selective. Um, well, the, the price, price are going everywhere. So. The yeah. price goes back up. But it's still not as, it, it was really expensive at the beginning of the season because just nobody could get any oysters. Mm -hmm. um, a couple had had some problems overseas with overseas markets and people overseas, especially the Chinese, were buying seafood from the United States, and so the price was going sky high. Everything's pretty much going sky high. Yeah. So while, while we're on that, um, <clears throat> y'all get any? Y'all said y'all were getting them overseas. Um, do you get them from places like Japan, or how did that? We don't. We don't get anything from overseas. No. All of our seafood is good. Yeah, the uh, like overseas is fine. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> I don't know the really good questions. They just kind of disappear. And you said you only have two shuckers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like y'all shuck everything and then y'all just steam them and like just serve them. And how do y'all serve them? They're steamed and then shucked. They're yeah, they're cooked in the shell. And my dad does that a lot of time, but like, do you just like put them on a plate, serve them to how many, or how do you serve them? Or how does that work? No, the uh, shucker stands on the other side of the bar and actually shucks the oysters, puts them out, and they just drop the shell. There's a trough on the other side of the bar where they drop the shells into. What do y'all do with the shells? Do y'all just like. We were recycling them. Um, now we just kind of people pick them up um, if they're trying to fill in holes in the driveway. I have my dad. Like that. Oh, my dad does that. We've got uh, oyster shells galore in our backyard. Do y'all, um, do y'all as a family ever host any um, big oyster roasts outside of the restaurant? Or? No. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a work thing, I guess. Yeah. You see them every day. You want to go home and it's dropped. Yeah. How are we on could you think of anything else that we might have missed or? No, I don't think so. I think we should be good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time sure. and letting us come yeah. in close. We thank you definitely. Yes.